Welcome back to the Morning Griffin. I'm your host, Andrea. And I'm Sarah. And, and this, this is, is the Morning, Morning Griffin. Griffin. We have a few stories to get to you, so let's get started. First, we have Women's History Month. We, in, we interview staff and students sharing what this month means to them. Let's go check them out. Hi, my name is Lisa, and um, I'm an 11th grader at Alice Bev High School. What Women's History Month means to me is basically giving us a moment to shine. Um, it took us a long time to get where we are today. Uh, all these men de degrading us, making us feel like we're nothing, and not giving us a chance to prove that we're we're better, or not better, but we're we are something, and we are meant to be here. Hi, I'm Miss Jackson. I work with students who need just a little bit of extra support. Women's History Month to me is very inspiring. Um, it helps show young women and women my age of all the wonderful things that we've done throughout history um, and celebrate the inventions that maybe we didn't necessarily know were by women. Um, it helps me push my female students to follow careers that maybe were mostly intended for men in our history. Um, and just to give them more love and support of that we are powerful people who also need to be seen and heard. My mom, because she tells us to keep trying and like reassures us. Oh, hi. Hi, my name is Talia. I'm in ninth grade. Someone that inspired me is my mom because she always tells me to like try hard and everything and do not give up. Hi, I'm Miss Glock. I work with students that just need a little extra help in certain subjects. To me, um, Women's History Month is like a great time to reflect on the past um, and think about, my mom used to tell me how they only had one sport cheerleading in high school for her and how horrible that was, or like her experiences being one of the first college students in her family and being a woman. Um, and so I like to reflect a lot on um, where women have come and where we can go and think about it's interesting having a daughter now and instilling those beliefs into her. So um, I really like to celebrate and think about the past during Women's History Month. Hi, I'm Katia Sodersano. I'm a sophomore at Atlas Prep. Uh, Women's History Month to me, um, I feel like it's just, I feel like this month empowers women to become better. Like, there's a lot of teachers out here, like the staff, like Ms. Lyons, Ms. Scully, Ms. Taylor. Every teacher is special in her own way. Um, I'd like to shout out Ms. Taylor because um, she wrote my letter of recommendation to get into this medical program and she supports me fully. Um, and I also want to support Tay. Thanks to my mom, she gave birth to me. Obviously, I'm here. Um, and she's a really good woman, you know, like she's done a lot of sacrifices for me and I just really want to thank her. Hi, I'm Miss Isabel. I am a college and career counselor at Atlas. To me, Women's History Month is really empowering. It is, um, it signifies the suffering and work that women have had to do to be seen as equal in society, and it means a lot to be able to celebrate that with my fellow women. Hi, my name is Vittoria Arduna, some know me as Tori, and I'm here to talk about women empowerment. I feel like women empowerment is like standing up for like ourselves, like what we've been through amongst like generations, and like just being realized and to be like put on a pedestal. Like how long it took for people to realize our and like compassion and like our you know our individualism as like women and like we bring so much to the table that is not recognized by like even men or like other people so it's like let's just embrace women empowerment and like we've came a long way so i want to give it up to the women that actually know how to put it up and to not let anybody you know tell them what to do and just be you Hello, my name is Miss Burgos. I am the office manager for the three buildings here in Atlas, and I also the truancy coordinator for the three buildings here in Atlas. Human History Month means to me a month to um, empower young girls and new generation with courage and self-esteem. And a quote um, for this month for, from me to you, will be shine on, not just this month, but every day. 
My name is Leslie Arazo and I'm a senior and one special woman in my life will be my mom. Um, she's a single mother and of four children and she's the most amazing person I've like ever met and she has helped me throughout things, a lot of things and she deserves the world and that's why I love her so much. Even as a single mother she has um, done a lot of things and sacrifices for me especially as the oldest and that's why for her i'm doing a lot of things for her and i really hope she has all the things that she wants and i hope that i can satisfy her and that's why she's the most important woman in my life i'm lauren i'm not putting this thing on me but i'm a 12th grader here at adams preparatory high school i'm a senior here okay let's go okay so women's history month to me is just a way for us to us women to celebrate our achievements and goals and inspirations that have been throughout history because as everybody knows women didn't have a lot of powers so now that we're in early ages women have a whole bunch of sayings women are doing great things around the whole entire world helping out uh, men helping out their own countries etc that's it hi my name is Nayeli Montano and what women's history month means to me is that it allows us to embrace all that women have go gone through and for us to look back and make sure that those things don't happen again. Thank you for all the women who shared their thoughts with us. Mmm, women. On much more entertaining news, the carnival is approaching fast, so make sure you win all those stamps so you can participate in it. In other news, all junior and senior listen up. We will be having prom April 26th from 7 to 10 at the Venetucci Farming Center. Tickets will be on sale soon. And it's okay if, you're, if you go alone. It is very okay. No one's gonna judge you. In other news, sporting news, we have soccer! Atlas versus Ma Thomas McClair. Thursday, March 21st, 4 p.m. And then we have track today. Now, into weather with Devante, woo! Hi, I'm Devontae Johnson with weather. Today is going to be sunny, and Thursday and Friday are going to be partly cloudy. However, the weekend going into the beginning of spring break is going to be really rainy. So remember to stay dry. Back to Andre and Sam to finish us up. Thank you, Devontae. That's all. I hope you guys have a wonderful Women's History Month. And don't forget, next week, there's no school. Please don't come. No one will be here. I'm Andrea. And I'm Sam. Bye-bye.